This is a trek and a half. There's just something about taking your own adventure. Right, buddy? Something about this brings me alive. I'm not sure if it's because I'm learning. Ooh, selfie stick. I never use a selfie stick. Or maybe it's just the rush. It's been about two years since I've done any difficult trek or climb. You know, at moments, it's like the mountain is challenging you and trying to restrict you and keep you out. It's indescribable. I'm headed back to the peak. So the park guide said that I need to have pants or they won't let me climb. And then I realized my boots, they aren't so good either. All right, now we're looking for decathlon. I am horrible at all. So you have no idea where decathlon is. Decathlon is not here. Oh, back in this blazing heat again. This is good practice for the actual hike. Decathlon signs. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. He feel good. He feel real good. Try it. Yeah, try the pants. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we got pants, got boots, got a new camera bag. This is pretty sick. Original price, 6,200 baht. 1,995 baht. Oh yeah. We got our bus tickets. We got our room. We got a couple goodies in the mail too for fun. Sweet! Man, it just hangs. <laughs> oh, that's not for my hiking trip. This is definitely a hyper rare vial plume. I'm headed to Pitsanulok. It's in the mid northern region of Thailand. There are sharp, rigid limestone mountains there, and I'm gonna sleep on the top of it. Should probably stop biting my nails. I'm gonna claw my way up. Ah, but it's time for some quality buffet time with my wife and her mom before I go. Great opportunity to break in the boots. Pothole. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mind you die, but I don't mind if you like be uh, a disabled, handicapped, little. You'd rather I die? <laughs> I don't think that's called beatbox, GG. <laughs> don't mess up my shoes, okay? Don't mess up my shoes. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I absolutely hate laundry. Just a little pit stop. The bus stopped for everyone to go have some lunch. Um, so I guess it'll be about another 20 minutes or so, and then we'll be back on the road. Approaching a mountain is always so interesting. It's like you think about all of the intricacies, like what makes that? What is beneath the skin? What's beneath the surface of the mountain? Ah, here we go. Maybe. <laughs> Not sure. Oh, I guess that wasn't for me. Uh. <laughs> All right, so basically we are trying to figure out what things we will bring up the mountain because in case it rains, then we don't really have cover. All right, here we go. When I'm on a trek or a climb, I'm always learning more about myself. I'm learning about my physical balance every step, Ooh. jump, landing. <laughs> I'm learning about my weak side. 
and where I need more support or where I need to improve. Oh, it feels so good. Thank goodness. Such a good idea to bring fresh cold towels. Feels so good right on the eyeballs. <laughs> Literally insane. Oh, so we're gonna go that way. All right. Look at that. Oh, that's so wicked. This is so surreal. There's some rain right over there. All right, gotta go fast. There's rain coming. Oh no! <laughs> we just came through that, and as you see, it started to rain. It's uh. I guess I can get slippery, but I don't know. I, uh, we just plowed through it and we're on the second base now, I guess you can say. I'm sacrificing my comfort oh. to the mountains. It's tiring, but this rain actually feels really good, but a little more dangerous, I guess. And in return, the mountain bestows me with an emotional balance that I can't really replicate anywhere else. All right, off to three, here we go. When you reach a difficult moment, you seriously get concerned for your well-being and your safety. This is definitely one of those moments when you think, should I turn back or should I keep going? <laughs> what do you think I'm gonna do? This is probably some of the craziest climbing I've done. Literally climbing over spikes of limestone and making leaps of faith. The way up is not always the best way down. This forces you to truly notice all of the details. Okay. Where your next three steps will be, setting yourself up like a game of chess, but against the mountain. And you ask yourself, am I faithfully and honestly using the basics, like the three points of contact at all times. One hand and two feet, or one foot and two hands. During a climb, every decision counts. Every shift of weight, toes, fingertips, are keeping you from falling to your death. I'm smiling when I'm saying that. <laughs> you know, at moments, it's like the mountain is challenging you and trying to restrict you and keep you out. You struggle, you reevaluate, eventually you overcome that obstacle. And then the next one is revealed. This is you versus the mountain. <laughs> I know some say just savior the moment, but look, I'm an artist. There are fossils this high up. There's just details and unexplainable moments. I have to. I have to take photos. It's part of the art. It's part of me. It's part of my experience. It's not always just about the climb. It's always <laughs> about doing the climb with a camera and being able to take photos. Oh, one more reason to lose weight. <laughs> or four cameras. When you're presented with a view of what you've just overcome or what you've just accomplished, you can hear the bugs crawling, birds chirping, the creaks in the stone beneath your feet while your body's aching, breathing, heavy, visuals exhilarating, and you can hear the air filling the space around you. Your mind is just simply at ease. This incredible gift of appreciation, it's not always guaranteed. you get it. Such an emotional experience and it's like a wave of memories that come flying at you. Always trying to bring you guys with me. <laughs> Feels like they're all holding you at the same time, higher than the peak. indescribable. It's as if the mountain wasn't challenging me at all. It's as if it was welcoming me. 
it's incredibly difficult to capture moments like this it, because they're so intangible. Photos just don't do it justice. But if I can recall that feeling even once, then every photo was worth it. I don't think the mountains were ever telling me to keep out. They've always been my teachers. They continue to make me more aware of myself, my physical strength, my mental strength. Dinner time, got some pork, sticky rice, tofu, and an egg. Oh, cucumbers with a bug in it. Oh yeah, where's that bug at? There he is. <laughs> and my emotions. It's always pretty difficult to leave a mountain um, just after you form such an intimate relationship with it. Rise and shine. Surreal. <laughs> it's as if you're saying goodbye to like a, a close relative or a really close friend or something. All right, so I think he's saying pee in this and then tie it up and then put it in the garbage right here. <laughs> kind of stinky. All right, we're starting our trek down the second half. Here we go, let's just look. <laughs> That was a tough one. <laughs> that was a tough one. Sweat is called Dum Nam. Unsuccessful drone attempt. <laughs> <laughs> Set low. Finished. <laughs> Kapkumaka. Thank you. Kapkumaka. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> huh? Thank you. <laughs> Watching it fade into the sky as you get further and further away just feels like you're kind of abandoning your experience. For me, it feels like that. And the only thing I have with me my photos to bring me back. The mountains. The mountains always bring me back. Always. Hey everyone, I'd love to hear about your experiences too. Or if this video resonated with you, feel free to leave some comments down below. And of course, sub if you want to see more content. Thanks for watching. Dude out.